You have already learned about five cycles. You have learned about the seasonal cycle, the life cycle of a flowering plant, the life cycle of a tree, the life cycle of a chicken, and the life cycle of a frog. Today you will learn about the life cycle of a butterfly. A butterfly's life cycle is somewhat different from most animals because it goes through a stage called metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is a process in which a living thing changes or transforms from one shape into another. This means that it literally changes its entire appearance. A frog also goes through a metamorphosis. How does the frog change its entire appearance? Right, it starts as a tadpole, and then it grows legs and arms and loses its tail and becomes a fully grown frog. Let's hear more about the extraordinary life cycle of these beautiful creatures called butterflies. Did you know that there are about 25,000 different kinds of butterflies in the world? Butterflies vary in size from about one-eighth of an inch to almost 12 inches in size. The largest butterfly in the world is the Queen Alexandra Birdwing. Its wingspan is 12 inches wide. It lives in the rainforests of Papua New Guinea. The smallest butterfly is the Western Pygmy Blue from Africa. Incredibly, butterflies can only fly when their bodies are warm enough. The butterfly's body temperature must be 85 degrees Fahrenheit for them to take to the air. 85 degrees Fahrenheit is the temperature on a warm summer day. When they do, the fastest butterflies can fly at 12 miles per hour. They cannot move at all if their body temperature drops below 55 degrees Fahrenheit. 55 degrees Fahrenheit is the temperature on a chilly day. Well, now that you know some interesting facts about butterflies, it's time to find out about a butterfly's life cycle. A butterfly begins its life as an egg that has been produced by its mother. Butterfly eggs can be round or oval. There are even some that are cylindrical in shape. The shape of the egg often depends on the kind of butterfly that laid the egg. Female butterflies lay their eggs on the leaves of plants. They do this so that when their young hatch, there is food right there for them to eat. They will choose these leaves carefully, selecting only the leaves that their young will eat. Depending on the kind of butterfly, it can take from 6 days to 20 days for the eggs to hatch. Can you guess what hatches out of a butterfly egg? Well, it isn't a butterfly. It's actually a tiny caterpillar, also called a larva. A caterpillar is a small creature that moves by squeezing its muscles. It squeezes its muscles starting at the back end of its body and moving up to its head. This movement pushes the caterpillar forward. A caterpillar also uses its muscles to eat. The caterpillar's job is to eat as much as it can. A caterpillar eats the egg that sheltered it. Then it begins to eat the leaf on which it was born. The tiny caterpillar keeps on eating, devouring all the leaves around it. Caterpillars don't sleep, so they eat during the day and at nighttime, too. They grow very quickly. Because caterpillars grow so quickly, they outgrow their skin. This means that because their skin does not grow with them the way yours does, they molt or shed their outer skin to reveal new skin underneath. They do this repeatedly until they are fully grown. Some caterpillars even eat their own old skin. A caterpillar is usually fully grown somewhere between 9 and 20 days. At this stage, the caterpillar will leave its food supply and go in search of a safe, leafy place to enter the next stage of its life cycle. Once in this safe place, it attaches itself to a twig or a small branch by making a silk pad on the bottom of the branch or twig. The caterpillar then hooks itself onto the silk pad. In the next stage, the caterpillar forms a protective outer casing called a pupa or chrysalis. 
The formation of the chrysalis is the final stage of molting or shedding outer skin. When it molts for the final time, the new skin becomes the outer shell of the chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, something incredible happens. The caterpillar transforms from one thing into another in the process called metamorphosis. Think about what a caterpillar looks like when it is fully grown just before metamorphosis. It is small and round. When it emerges from the chrysalis, it is no longer a caterpillar, but a delicate, beautifully colored butterfly with wings. The caterpillar's body has completely changed. For some butterflies, it is sometimes possible to tell when the butterfly is fully transformed and ready to emerge because its chrysalis becomes transparent or see-through. The butterfly does not look anything like the small, round-bodied creature it used to be. Instead of mouth parts that chew, the butterfly has a straw-like tube that can suck nectar from sweet-tasting flowers. It has antennae. The metamorphosis takes between 10 to 14 days to complete. At first, the butterfly's wings are very delicate. They are quite soft and are folded up, not yet ready to carry the butterfly up into the air. It will take several hours before the butterfly is ready to take to the sky. During this time, a fluid is being pumped all around the butterfly's body, especially into the wings. When the butterfly is ready to fly, it is also ready to find a mate. Butterflies use their eyes to find a mate. Male butterflies send out special scents to attract female butterflies. Male butterflies fertilize the eggs of female butterflies. The life cycle begins all over again as female butterflies search for the right places to lay their eggs. Amazingly, female butterflies use their feet to find the best place to lay their eggs. The butterfly tastes various leaves using her feet to find just the right home for her young. She knows that when her eggs hatch, they will need an instant food supply. Did you know that butterflies do not live for a very long time? Many butterflies live for just about one month. There are even some that live for just a matter of days. However, there are a few, such as the monarch butterfly, that can live for almost a year and in the fall migrate thousands of miles. Remember, migration is when an animal or group of animals moves from one place to another, usually in search of warm weather. During their lifetime, butterflies help to pollinate our flowering plants. Because they are cold-blooded and like only warm weather, we see them only in the late spring and summer in the Northern Hemisphere. But when we do, they are a beautiful sight to see in our gardens and parks. Perhaps now that you know all about the life cycle of a butterfly, when you next see one, you will appreciate it even more.